Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jason's RC Reviews. Today we will be doing a review on the Wolfwarp WT-03 FPV camera system. So here, looking at the box, you can see up front it's a pretty simple design. Um, you just have some text. It says FPV camera system, 3-in-1, transmitter, FPV camera, and antenna. Uh, this side is just blank. This side, you just have a little bit of a picture here. Blank, and that side's the same. Then you just have some barcodes underneath here. Okay, so taking a look at the box here, opening it up, we just open it up this way. And the first thing we're greeted with is the camera itself, right in its little uh, foam case here. Uh, so just taking this off here, the camera came with that there. So we have the camera in this nice little protective case. Uh, you're probably not going to use that again if it's mounted to something, but looks like here is your little FPV camera. Tiny little uh, one. It actually has an adjustable milliwatt. I think it has uh, 50, 75, and 200 milliwatt. So it definitely has a lot of output power for something this small. So here just taking a look at the camera. You can see it's a pretty common design. A lot of these little cameras are designed like this. Except for this one does have a little LCD uh, panel on the back, which you can use to adjust your milliwatts and some other settings as well. Uh, here you can see you have your antenna. It's just a little clover leaf antenna. And here you have the camera. And here you also have your output cord. And let's just dive in and see what else is in the box. So also inside the box we have this little adapter for a different style of battery. Um, you're just going to hook this up to the cable on the camera. And then you can hook this side up to uh, your style of battery. And last but not least we have our instruction manual. And it looks like it is adjustable from 25, 50 and 200 milliwatt. Just a little correction there. So this camera is a 40 channel with 600 TVL lines. So it does have a pretty decent quality. And just looking in here, you can see we have a little bit of a picture of the camera and some uh, just some words explaining things there. And here we have our instructions for changing everything inside the camera. So next I will be showing you guys just basically how to change your milliwatt settings as that will be your most used uh, setting in your camera. So for this I'm just going to use my little adapter here that came with it and I'm just going to go and plug this into here there you go so here I just have this little 150 milliamp uh, lipo that I used to use with uh, one of my quads so I'll just plug this into the camera and as you can see the camera's LCD did turn on and you can see here are all our settings um, the lines are to indicate which milliwatt setting you're on so if it has one line then it's at 25 if it has two lines then it's at 50 and if it has three lines then it's at 200 so to change the milliwatt settings you're just going to want to click on this button for five seconds until you see the lines. There you go. So now we can click the button and choose which setting we want. There's 0, 25, 50, and 200 milliwatt. And then you just let go of the button to use whichever one you want. So I'll just choose the 200 and just not touch it. And there you go, our camera mode is set. So, last but not least, I'll be showing you guys some DVR footage from I, when I was using this camera on my Hobby Zone Super Cub S. I decided to put that to some use with this FPV camera, and it's definitely a lot of fun to fly around. So, I'll let some of this DVR footage play.
After seeing this DVR footage, um, as you can see, it was definitely working pretty well. I will be releasing another video sometime soon with my FPV setup on my HobbyZone Super Cub. So the pros and cons of this camera. Um, the pros are that this little antenna is actually really powerful. You can go a really decent amount away from yourself. Um, the camera quality is pretty decent. Um, and the fact that it also does come with this converter is also really nice. So moving on to the cons, um, there's only really one con that I could find about this and that is that this thing will actually get quite hot um, especially when you have it on the 200 milliwatt. Um, it's to the point where you can't really touch it without uh, burning yourself sometimes if it's been on for a while. But that is not a huge con because it will be usually on your aircraft and it will be cooled a little bit more that way because there's air flowing through the camera and it will not get quite as hot. If this video helped you guys out, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.